The movie opens with an illustration of a young gentleman. He is named Jacob, and he is being bullied by some fellows. Jacob, like many other fellows, isn't a happy one. Rather, he used to be a sad and fearful. Jacob and his manager were on their way to Jacob's residence. In the meantime, he gets a call from his grandfather. He warns him not to return home since the house is under attack. Jacob believes his granddad is becoming old. That's why he's speaking that way. But Jacob still seems something wrong. With his manager, he visits his grandfather at his home. His manager instructs him to contact him if a problem arises. And because I'm at home right now, you can call me. When Jacob walks into the house, he notices the strewn luggage. It appears that something has happened here. Later, he notices that his grandfather is missing and sets out to find him. He notices the back door is open, but his grandfather is not there. Later, he travels to the forest in search of his grandfather. However, he finds his grandfather, who has become fainted. When he notices that his eyes are absent, he feels terrified. It indicates that his eyes have been brought out by someone. He believes his granddad has passed away. He starts to phone his manager for assistance, but he notices. His granddad awakens and takes his hand in his. He assures him that he can trust that he has to go to an island in a time loop in 1993. A bird dressed as a person would appear and tell you everything. Jacob is totally blind to what his grandfather is saying. Later, Jacob notices a creature circling him and attacking him. Later, Jacob calls his manager, and she pulls the trigger on the gun. She's following Jacob's instructions, but she can't see anything. Only Jacob was aware of this, and he was irritated by his grandfather's death. He was referred to a psychiatrist. He tells him everything, just like his grandfather used to tell him monster and creature stories. Not only that, but he also used to tell him about the magical boy's tales. Those children possessed some unique abilities. He used to tell a lot of unreliable stories. He used to tell him a story about an island, there were many magical children and monsters lived. Jacob was a child at the time, and he believed these stories to be true. That is why he wishes to tell others about these stories. When he tells these stories to his classmates, they mock him. These were simply stories, after all. As he grew older, Jacob's faith in these stories began to wane. He thinks these stories are made up. Despite his grandfather's assurances that he would never lie to him. And each of these tales is based on the facts, had a strained relationship with his father. Jacob lived with his grandfather because he Jacob had a strained relationship with his father so, he lived with his granddad. His grandfather had recently passed away, therefore he was relocating to his parents' home. When he arrived at his place, there was a party going on. A woman there hands him a book that belonged to his grandfather. He discovers a postcard when he opens the book. This was two-year-old postcard. This postcard was written by a woman named Ms. Peregrine, in which it was written, We are fine and happily living here, how are you doing? I and the children are missing you a lot. After reading this, Jacob gets shocked, because he had previously doubted these stories. After reading the letter he begins to believe. It can be possible that the island, the children, and Ms. Peregrine is real. His psychiatrist suggests that his parents pay him a visit. Jacob's parents agree and Jacob plans to visit the same island. He was happy to go there, because he was eager to learn what his grandfather had to say to him. Because his grandfather has asked that he go to this island. His father was a writer who writes stories on birds. So, this isn't going to be a waste of time for him. This was an average island, not a large one. Additionally, there was a hotel available for their accommodation. That hotel was chosen by Jacob and his father to stay in. Jacob is now on a mission to find that child's house. The place where those magical children resided. The locals inform them that the place has now been destroyed, because the place was bombed by Germans during the war. This battle started in 1943. There is no longer any human, animal, or bird living there. Despite this, Jacob is eager to visit that area. After a while, Jacob reaches that child's house. This was a ruined house that was completely destroyed. However, this location appears to be the same as his granddad has told. Later, Jacob notices a shadow, that was of a girl, Jacob's friend. He sees many other children, as there was no one else there. As a result, Jacob considers these children to be ghosts, and he becomes terrified after seeing them, he flees after being terrified, and he slips while running. So, he passes out and awakens to find the children standing in front of him. Is it human or ghosts? He inquired. Are you dead or am I dead? And they reply no one had died. Ms. Peregrine has informed us that you will be arriving. They are attempting to place Jacob in a time loop. Jacob was running to his father since he didn't believe in anything. We can see that Jacob wasn't in his own time, but rather had gotten stuck in a time loop. He arrived in 1943 when this place was a bar, and it is now a hotel. Everyone rushes up to him and asks, who are you? They proceed toward him to kill him. 
despite the fact that it isn't 2016, but 1943, no one knows Jacob and the magical kids arrive there. And they save him, they destroy the bar before going. It implies that they set fire to the bar and take Jacob with them. Jacob gets astonished and inquires whether I possess mystical powers. Have I totally demolished the bar? Meanwhile, an invisible youngster informs that it was I, not you, who had done this. No one will be able to see this child until he puts on a dress. All of these children later take Jacob to the child's home. After arriving, Jacob notices that the house is no longer devastated. It's in good condition, stable and there's plenty of greenery. Later, Ms. Peregrine, a lady, arrives. She greets him warmly, and Jacob begins to believe that all of this is true, and that he used to listen from his dad. And now he has the opportunity to meet them all. Ms. Peregrine introduces him to other kids. They're all endowed with magical abilities. There was a girl there who had the ability to communicate with the wind. She was light in weight and could fly into the sky. That's why she had to wear iron shoes. There was a girl with golden hair who possessed firepower. She has the ability to burn and warm things. There was a young boy who, after creating something, put his heart into it and brought it to life. One girl has the ability to grow any plant. And another has the ability to put any heavy object. There is a young boy who used to keep plenty of flies in his plate. There was once a young boy who could see into the future. There were twin brothers who wore masks all the time. However, their capabilities are currently unknown. These all are living in this child's house. Ms. Peregrine, who also lives there, looks after them all. In order to save them she makes time loop. Actually, she saves these children from the outer world. Jacob expresses his desire to return to his own world. The children ask him not to return and to stay with them. However, Jacob must depart promptly, and the children inquire of him, okay, but first, let's have a look at the time loop with us. Because this is a fascinating thing. We have enjoyed it greatly, and later, all of the kids come out with Ms. Peregrine. Its storm begins to hit and the German plane appears. The house was about to be hit by a large bomb. Ms. Peregrine, on the other hand, with the help of her watch, she manipulates time by stopping it and then resuming it. She also restores the time before to the 24 hour. After reversing the time, they lived for many years in this manner. As a result, neither their ages nor their entry into today's world has progressed. There are two types of time loops shown here. One is currently taking place in which people are living, and the other is from past 1943. Jacob returns in the year 2016. We learn here that Jacob has taken the letter from the past. In the current moment, he initiates reading this letter. In this message, there was a warning that the enemies became aware of the time loop. In reality, there were several time loops rather than just one. There were birds to keep the time loops safe, who are protectors, who were guardians, and there are a lot of them in the country. To protect the magical children, the protectors live with them. To safeguard the children, they used to create a lot of time loops. In the letter, the villain was notified that the loop had been discovered. He is soon to attack on Ms. Peregrine. Ms. Peregrine has to make the time loop. He'll kill the children with Ms. Peregrine if he finds out about their home. He approaches Ms. Peregrine after receiving the letter. She scolds him for stealing and reading this letter. Later, a friend of Jacob's takes him to the big and beautiful sea for visit. She later takes him to the depths of the sea to show him a massive ship. That was stored in the sea department. It was quite old and Jacob's friend after taking him into the ship's depth shows a box. A box from Jacob's grandfather that has a map in it. You, too, have certain abilities, according to Jacob's friend. Because no one can cross these loops without powers. He is unable to come here, and a friend of Jacob's reports that Ms. Peregrine is good lady. She protects us from the villain. He later witnesses a giant beast after emerging from outside. It was going to attack them when Ms. Peregrine arrived and killed him. Can you see that monster? Jacob's friend asks. Jacob answers sure, but his friend informs him that we are unable to see him. And this is your power, as well as your grandfather's. Ms. Peregrine takes Jacob to her and she tells Jacob that we were already aware of your abilities. Your grandfather, on the other hand, has determined that you will live among the regular people. That you've already used up and now need to disclose to your grandfather. That your grandfather had to tell you on your 18th birthday and later. Later, she shows him a book. That was an ancient history book of theirs. She claims that we were well off and that some of us wished to be immortal. It implies that they desired to enjoy an everlasting life. They were also fed up with loops and had to be separated from us. They later desired to live with other but only if they could be immortal. They conducted an experiment later, and after holding a protector, they desired to be immortal after gaining their abilities. This experiment was carried out by our villain, who failed miserably. They were unsuccessful, and despite being immortal, they turned into monsters. They are invisible, no one can see them and, and the villain has found an antidote. 
If he eats the magical children's eyes, he will discover this. He'll reappear and be seen once more. He'd eaten a lot of eyes and he became normal. But his other friends were still invisible and later, we see a protector comes from his loop to Ms. Peregrine. She warns her that the villain and his companions, the monsters, have attacked on our loop. As a result, my entire children have been destroyed, and as a result, I've come to you. Ms. Peregrine is told by the protector that she must create a new time loop. Because the villain is about to come here. Because Jacob is uninterested in all of this, he returns to his own world. When he gets there, he notices a lot of sheep without eyes. He also comes across the body of the hotel's owner. That was in horrible shape and reminded him of his grandfather. His eyes were also brought out, which Jacob recognizes. The villain has come, and he approaches Ms. Peregrine to inform her. As he enters the time loop, another figure appears. You're not a regular human, Jacob reminds him, because no one can arrive in loop. Do you have any exceptional abilities, he inquires. And this man, who was a psychiatrist, reveals his face. It was the same villain who appeared when she saw her face. He was chasing Jacob in order to get a hold of Ms. Peregrine. He also completes his mission successfully. Ms. Peregrine's location has been discovered. After taking Jacob he takes him to Ms. Peregrine's residence. After squeezing Jacob's throat with a sharp object, he asks Ms. Peregrine to be his prisoner. I'm going to tell you why he was doing all of this. Because his few pals have ceased to be normal, he wishes to carry out a new experiment. He will require a large number of protectors for this purpose. This indicates that he will require a huge number of protectors this time. As a result, he wishes to apprehend Ms. Peregrine. He also invites Ms. Peregrine to accompany him. She agrees and bids farewell to her kids. Before she leaves, she warns Jacob that you are now special. After me, you look after them and pledge to look after them. She then traps her in a cage after saying this and utilizing her powers. It indicates she transforms into a bird after coming into her real identity. And the other protector who'd come here she was still with kids. They begin to close their house to protect them from the monster. In a while a dangerous monster arrives there. He kills the protector after attacking it first. Only Jacob was able to see the creature, which is why he attempted to attack him. He has no effect, but he was injured. The children attempt to flee and are successful. They got outdoors, but because Peregrine wasn't there, they couldn't change the time loop, and it was the day of the bombing. The German bomb attack and destroy the house after a while. All of the children safely exit the house and begin looking for Ms. Peregrine, because there may be other protectors locked. They only have one ship that is placed in the depths of the sea to get there. They start driving the ship after using everyone's power. Ms. Peregrine had to create a new time loop. It was the present day time loop of 2016. The map of this loop, on which the locations were written, the villain, on the other hand, was seated in a hall with his companions. On the location where the experiment will be carried out, Jacob and the kids develop a plan for releasing the protectors. In addition, they must kill the villain. While flying there, Jacob's friend asks the villain to hand over all of your monsters, or else I'll murder you because I've already arrived after killing a monster. The villain does not believe them and begins to mock them. That's what these kids are capable of. He sends his companions to pursue the kids. And the children have behaved maturely here, by throwing ice and subsequently candies at the invisible monsters, causing them to become visible from invisible and visible to all. Their buddy, who possessed the ability to bring things to life. He brings numerous skeletons to life, and as a result, he prepares an army of skeletons, and the army of skeletons after attacking them, kill each monster one by one. They eventually reach out to the villain, but only during the conflict. We can see them weakening, yet they don't give up. They kill all of the villain's companions after employing their powers. The villain is stopped by Jacob's friend, and Jacob rushes to free the protectors. All of them were also incarcerated in those cells, Ms. Peregrine was present as well. Jacob then releases them all after opening them. And then the villain appears and captures Jacob. When the other kids arrive, they notice that there are two Jacob. Because the villain has the ability to transform into a different person. The kids are perplexed as to who is the true Jacob. Both were attempting to reassure them, but Jacob was seeing a monster. The villain, on the other hand, is blind to the monster. Jacob, on the other hand, doesn't stop the monster. The monster can't recognize Jacob and monster from them and he holds the villain. Before the villain can inform anybody about him about him after transformation, the monster eats his eyes, and his game is over, and he dies. Later, Jacob kills the monster with a weapon, and this is how all of the monsters are killed. The youngsters must now return into their time loop of 1943. Because this was the 2016 time loop, they must adjust their age in order to return to their time loop. Their life could be taken away as a result of such a transformation. They are now saying their goodbyes to Jacob, who wishes to accompany them.
but his friend forbids him to stay because you're the one who's most needed here. Later, she goes to bid him farewell, and Jacob was in 2016. All of the youngsters have passed through loop 1943, and they're in desperate need of a new loop, so Jacob goes back in time. He meets his grandfather a few days before his grandfather's death and gets pleased after seeing him. He tells him everything that he'd seen till now, after listening to this his grandfather says that you you shouldn't be here. You should be with her because your friend is waiting for you, he hands him the dollars of old times that he is going to need further. Because he'll have to pass through a lot of loops to get to the 1943 loop. He has his grandfather's map and must travel through many loops. For time travel, he must wait a year. For this reason, he joined Navy and could reach into 1993. It was the time when his friend was on visit and he meets her finally. It was actually a ship through which all of the youngsters were passing for new loop. We see Ms. Peregrine who wished to return to her children. So, she can take care of them forever. This film ends here. Thanks for watching.